everybody here, what's up? Welcome to another guitar lesson with FastFingerFreddy.com Today we're going to be looking at how to play a boxcar racer, a field soul and then to start off with then, the song is just going to start with like a bit of a piano riff and then straight after that you'll come in with a really heavy chord, you'll play Okay, that kind of thing. So there's basically two parts to that, alright? Uh, guitar 1, uh, to start off with, is going to be index finger at fret 3, string number 6. Your ring finger is going to be on fret 5, string number 4. You're going to mute string 5 by using the bottom of your index finger. You're going to play that and just sort of bend your fingers up and down ever so slightly so. Okay, that's what guitar 1 is doing. If you look at the tab and just listen to the song, you know, you'll know you hear him play it a couple of times. So you know, get the timing right with that. Uh, guitar 2 is going to come. If you, you know, if you know the video, you'll see Tom uh, around here, 10 and 12. Just you know, playing that over and over. So that's your index finger at fret 10, string number 5. Your ring finger, fret 12, string number 3. You've got string 4 in the middle there. Again, you're going to mute that and just you know, pick it up and down as quick as you can. And just go back down to that three and five, okay? So there's only two chord shapes for you to learn. There's really easy. Just listen to the song and you know, or watch the video to get the timing right, okay? That's the intro. So the next part of the intro then is going to start off in the same position. It's going to sound like this then. Okay. So again, like I said, it's starting off in that same position at 3 and 5. The pattern is like this. Okay. And then you're going to go up two frets to 5 and 7 and down a string. 1, 2, 3, 4. So. Okay. Alright. If you look at the tab, do it again. If you look at the updated tab now, you've got to do that pattern one last time. And then the final time, it's going to start off the same at the 3 and 5, but instead of going up to 5 and 7, you, all you're going to do is go down a string and across uh, one fret down to 2 and 4, okay? So, okay, that's the only difference. So, uh, that shape to there three times, and then the last time, that shape down to there, okay? So, all together. Okay, so that's uh, the final intro, and that's the entire intro all together there then. So the next part then is the verse, uh, where Tom comes in and sings, Sometimes I wish I was brave, I wish I was stronger, I wish I could feel no pain. And it's going to sound like this. Okay, that's guitar one. And then what you're going to do then is put your middle finger onto fret, Five string number four, and then put your index finger onto fret four string three. Okay, so do it, and then you kind of just going to switch those two fingers round. Okay, so put your index finger onto fret four string four, and your middle finger onto fret five string three. Okay, so all together. Okay, do 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 do. Okay, and then what you're going to do, a similar pattern, but down on 2 and 4, okay, so index finger on fret 2 string 4, your ring finger on fret 4 string 3, and then just switch them around again, so your index finger is going to go down a string, and your ring finger is going to go up a string, okay, into that, so all together, Okay, that's the verse there then for guitar one. And after guitar one's played that through once, uh, guitar two is going to come with this then. Okay, so really.
really heavy uh, power cords. Index finger onto fret 3, string number 6, your ring finger on fret 5, string number 5, little finger fret 5, string 4. Play it dead in twice. As soon as you've played it, take the side of your hand, press it onto the strings to stop it ringing out. Okay, then down to 2 and 4. And then it's going to be your index finger laid down at fret 2, so you're covering strings 4 and 5. Don't cover string 6 because we're playing that open. Okay, and then back to the 2 and the 4. So we total. Okay, so that's guitar 1 and 2 there, then for the verse, and you know, it's up to you uh, which part you want to play. So next up then we've got the main chorus where it sings, because I feel so mad, feel so angry, uh, that part is going to sound like this then. Okay, and again, just listen to the song, you know, to get the correct timing. Uh, simple power chords once again. Index finger, fret seven, string five. Ring finger, fret nine, string number four. Little finger, fret nine, string three. You're gonna go. Okay, do da 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 do da 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 da. And then leave your ring finger and your little finger where it is. Just move your index finger though, stretch it down to fret six. So I guess it's a bit of a stretch. And it's the same shape, okay? And then you're gonna move that shape down. You're gonna put your index finger onto fret four, and your ring finger and your little finger to fret six. Okay, then to finish off, just go up to six and eight. Okay, so that's a chorus, and again, from the start, it'll sound like this. Okay, that's how to play the chorus there, then. So the bridge, then, um, is going to play a simple power chord at 3 and 5 on strings um, 4, 5 and 6. Just play that and then there's no guitar, I think it comes in with like the bass and the drums and uh, then it's going to do a pick slide so okay and all you're doing there really you know listen to the song to know when it's doing that part but it's just taking your pick, hold it quite uh, sort of twist it on its side a little bit just put it onto the top string six, string six and just move it down the strings okay and you can do it quick, you can do it slow you know it's up to you okay whatever you think sounds best so that's the first part of the bridge and uh, then what he's going to do is play what we played in intro C, which is the... Uh... Okay, he's playing that, but you're going to mute it, you're going to palm mute it, so that's taking the side of your hand there, pressing it on the strings up around the bridge, so it's nice and muted, and then it'll be like this. Okay. I think the first two times he plays it all muted, and then the last two times when he plays it, he's not muting the five and the seven, so it'll be. Okay, kind of like that. So uh, that's bridge A and B there, then so far. Uh, the final part of the bridge, what he's going to do is just play one chord over and over, okay? It's going to be your index finger at fret two, string number five and your ring finger at fret 4, string number 3, which means we're muting string 4 in the middle there then. And then um, just keep playing this and listen to the song to get the timing right, but I think um, it should be like this. Okay, stops then. Does it again. And then for the next part, it's going to play that through a little bit longer and then kind of stop again, so it'll be like this. Okay, and then that's when it goes back into it. Because I feel so mad, feel so angry, you know, go back into that part, okay? So for that last part of the bridge, it's really, really easy. All you've got to do is just listen to the song to get the timing, okay? And when it does the stops, when it does the... All you've got to do is just take the side of your hand, put it on the strings to stop it from ringing out, okay? 
and like I said after that part it's just going to go back into the chorus and the final note of the song all it is is a power chord put your index finger at fret 7 string number 5 your ring finger fret 9 string 4 little finger fret 9 string 3 play that as well as string 6 open and just let it ring out alright 